Do the engagement questions about Ryan annoy you? How much longer do you think you'll stay in New York City? What do you value in your relationship with Ryan? Will you prioritize going on more trips with Ryan in the future versus more friend trips? Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be doing, I'm in the mood to do all these OG YouTube videos. Something about fall brings out my inner 2013. If you guys are new around here, I've been doing YouTube since 2010, which is pretty crazy. We're doing a get ready with me, chit chat, getting some hand sanitizer on. I'm about to do some stuff for Gals and Lego podcast today, so need to get my makeup on and I thought I would do a little get ready with me, but also I asked on my Instagram for you guys to ask me questions, so I thought this would be fun. So I always start out with my brows because I just like to get them in place, <laughs> but it's a weird thing I learned from my friend Kelly who's a makeup artist, um, cause then like if you do your brows when you have foundation on, it makes that weird line. Some days I fill my brows in, other days I just use a brow gel. I'm very grateful because this video is sponsored by Trilogy Skincare, which I'm excited about because I've talked about Trilogy before. I've used their normal rosehip oil. I use it a lot when I'm gua sha my face. You guys have seen it. It's in my medicine cabinet, my bathroom. I love it. They have this now, which is the Instant Glow Rosehip Oil. So same situation, but this one I really like because look at that. There's a little tint to it. I really like wearing it under makeup. Like, look at this glow it's already giving me. Or some days I'll just wear it if I just am needing a little glow. Like, look how beautiful this makes your skin look. And I kind of just give myself a little lymphatic drainage massage while I'm applying it. Blend down to the neck a little, give your decollete some glow. I love this because it hydrates your skin, which I always do before I put on my makeup. And it also helps with wrinkles and fine lines. It's just nice because I feel like I'm always putting products under my skin for that glow, but there's no benefit to them other than that glow. So this is giving you a skincare situation where you're getting hydration and it's helping with your fine lines but also you're getting this beautiful glow from within. I'm going to a wedding this weekend and I'm bringing this because my friends always ask me to put body glow on them before we leave the door. So I was like, okay, perfect, I'll bring this. Multi-use product, I can use it, you know, before makeup or if we're just going to breakfast. I think one morning we're just gonna go to breakfast before the wedding and stuff. So I'll just put this on my skin so I'm hydrating but I look a little glowy. And also I'm gonna bring it, cause it's also a great size, to put on my chest and my arms before the wedding so you have that nice glow. It's just a multi-use product, which I love. And when you're packing and you're on the go, you don't really need that. I just had to switch cameras, so it might look a little different. <laughs> Anywho, I have a code for you guys to use. I'll have it up here on the screen. I'll also have it down below. I'm also gonna add this product to my Amazon storefront so it's easy for you guys to shop and I'll have it linked below. So now that we've got our glow on, let's continue the getting ready process. Okay, we're gonna get started with the first question. What's on your holiday wish list? So you guys already know I'm gonna film some sort of Christmas wish list, holiday gift guide video because I've done those every year my whole life. And as I get older, it feels strange to post those, but I know you guys really enjoy them. And I honestly love seeing other people's YouTube videos about this. What was your favorite year in college? That is such a great question. I would say end of sophomore year and first semester of junior year, so all of 2019. 2019 was one of my favorite years in life. I mean, I met Ryan that year, so it was just really fun. It was those early stages of dating somebody, and we were going on each other's date nights for events, and we were just going on dates, we were traveling, I went to Coachella that year. I just had such a great year, and I had a really good time in college that year because I never really had guy friends. At Georgia until I met Ryan and all of his friends and they're still some of my very near and dear friends to this day So it was just such a fun year. I I just love that year so much. What is your best childhood memory? Um, this is one that we did every December and I'm trying to convince my family or some parts of my family to do this with me this year We went to Disney every single December like we're not necessarily a Disney family But we because we only went I guess we are a Disney family. We went every year like the weekend before Christmas um, and it was so fun. We stay at Fort Wilderness in the log cabins. Um, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while you might remember I did some vlogmases there and it's so fun. There's like bunk beds and there's one of those pull down beds from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody that we loved and we'd go to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas which is at Magic Kingdom and there was the parade and it was so magical and I just looked forward to it every year and then some years Freddie and I got to bring our friend like we each got to bring a friend or whatever. I mean 
Now my parents are divorced and we have gone as a family, but now it's just getting a little bit more complex. Um, but it's so fun at Fort Wilderness. They have campgrounds, they have a hotel, and they have the log cabins, which is what we did. And we also did, um, there were uh, golf carts. So you don't really drive cars around. You would drive your golf carts around to like the breakfast place. You would take a ferry to the different parks. We usually did Magic Kingdom and then the next day we did Epcot and then we'd go home. Sometimes we only did Magic Kingdom, but oh, even just talking about it makes me so happy. Like going to Orlando, we went to Disney World cause I'm from Florida. It was, you guys, it was so fun. I miss it so much. And I texted my family group chat, like I want to go, but it's kind of like, who would go, like my dad's not really, he's not dating anybody. And then it would be me and Freddie. I don't know. And then it's like, I would love if Ryan could go, but then like, I don't know, you know what I mean? So we're just trying to figure that out, but it books up so fast. But if none of you guys have done that, it's such a great way to get out in the holiday spirit, especially if you live in Florida. What is your death row meal? <laughs> so it was like a TikTok trend a little bit ago and I made the TikTok and people were like, you have no taste, which is fair. My death row meal would start with like a classic dinner roll with butter. And then I would have spaghetti with meatballs, like just typical spaghetti meatballs, broccoli, or no, green beans, I'm sorry. <laughs> Am I okay? Green beans. And then my dessert would be chocolate lava cake. And I would have a Shirley Temple, so. I am a child. <laughs> what are you going as for Halloween this year? Okay, I do believe this video will be up after Halloween. So you guys can go check out my Instagram to go see my costumes. But as of today, right now I'm being Devil Wears Prada, which was so funny. I was telling my friend Kellyanne about it and she was like, what? She started dying laughing. She was like, what character are you gonna be in Devil Wears Prada? <laughs> And I was like, no, no, like I'm gonna be a devil that wears Prada. I don't even own a Prada bag, so I'm looking if Vivrel or, um, can lend me out a Prada bag. Um, they're like a bag borrowing service here in the city, or if any of my friends will let me use their Prada bag. Um, but I just thought that was so fun and easy. I have Prada shoes, but they're pink. So I was just gonna wear like a red set and um, a Prada bag. And like Prada, uh, Prada ears, devil ears, which I thought would be really cute, so. Very excited about that. And then I'm also gonna do Eloise at the Plaza. I saw an example on TikTok and I literally can recreate the whole outfit. I don't have to buy anything. Like a little black skirt, a white puffy top. And then I did buy like a black hair bow and then like Mary Jane's, which I bought as well actually. And yeah, it's cute. And then Ryan and I, this was Ryan's idea, which is, I was shook. He wanted to do the Justin Bieber, Hailey Bieber, iconic photo of her road to New York City launch where she was wearing like that really cute red dress. And he was in like a gray sweat set, pink hat and yellow Crocs. <laughs> so I was so down for that. Um, it was so funny. He literally had to buy yellow Crocs, but I think it's gonna be a really iconic costume. I have somewhat similar hair color as Hailey right now, especially when my hair's up and in the photo, she has like this beautiful updo and I found a cute red dress, kind of similar. I got these like red pointy heels. I'm so pumped to recreate that iconic moment. FMK, cottage cheese, ginger shots or egg and avocado. I, you know me so well. This person knows me so well this is so hard because right now i'm loving cottage cheese like a lot but i don't need it in my life so i'll pro i'll probably kill cottage cheese which is so sad and then mary egg and avocado and f ginger shots would you have you ever befriended followers and subscribers yes i have i would i've met like especially here in the city i've like ran into followers in like coffee shops and stuff and I will literally say, you are so cool. I love your energy. I feel like we'd get along so well and we'll follow each other on Instagram. Sometimes we hang out or like, we'll just keep in touch. I just, I mean, you guys are the coolest because I mean, I already know I'm gonna like you if you watch my videos because we must be somewhat similar. So yes, I do, I would, I love to. What do you value in your relationship with Ryan? Where do I start? I just love how solid he is. Like. <laughs> Not physically, I mean, he's a solid dude, but I just feel so safe when I'm with him. I'm able to kind of put my phone down and forget about life <laughs> in a good way. And he just kind of always, he keeps me grounded. He keeps me humble. He's always so supportive, but he's also like, I don't know how to explain it. He's so supportive, but he will like, he doesn't get like too involved, which I kind of like. 
He's very like, you do you. He knows the idea of things, but he's not like up my booty hole, which I like. And I like how our relationship were very independent. Like, and there's nothing wrong with that. But when I started dating, I was like, I don't want to have sleepovers every night. That's just not my personal jam. I like my alone time. And I know eventually we'll live together and that's different, but, and he's the same way which I love. Least glamorous part of attending events slash being an influencer. I've like had this realization recently because sometimes if you go to an event, um, it's awesome. They will pay you to go, which is so cool to get paid to go to an event. I'm like, this is already so fun. Um, but sometimes they'll have you, they want you to like post there, like actively at the event because it might be a time sensitive thing, whatever, which is fine. But then sometimes they want to approve it there and like have you post it while you're there. So sometimes I'll like bring a friend and I feel bad because we're trying to have fun, but I'm like, oh, I literally have to submit this to the brand while I'm here. So I'd say that's the least glamorous because I'm like a ton of people that are contracted to be there might be standing in different corners, like editing their stories or editing their reel really quick so they can get it up while they're still at the event. I do think it's like kind of funny or just in general, like taking photos. A lot of people will just get to the event. This is what I like to do is I like to get to the event Say hello to you say hi to, take my photos and then enjoy because I don't want to be thinking about it the whole time. Do the engagement questions about Ryan annoy you? They don't, no, I love you guys. And I love that people are so inquisitive and have questions. They don't annoy me per se, but you know, I feel like I've answered the question so many times and it hasn't changed. And I think doing YouTube, especially being a lifestyle vlogger, which I'm so grateful for, like it's not, I just, I don't have just one niche, which is so cool. I think people are like, okay, well, what's the next thing? You know, are you moving? Or when are you and Ryan moving in together? When are you getting engaged? And they're just very invested in my life, which is so cool. But it's just funny because I'm like, guys, I told you two months ago, we're not getting engaged and we're not getting engaged now, but it's also fun. Like it does not annoy me because when we went to Mexico together, everyone's like, oh my God, her nails are red or, oh, she's wearing a dress that has white in it. Maybe tonight's the night. Like, I don't care. It's so funny. I think I would more care if I was truly wanting to get engaged and he wasn't proposing. I'd be like, oh my God, everyone's commenting and he's still not doing it. You know what I mean? So if it comes to a point where I'm like, okay, now it's go time and I'm waiting for him to propose, that might get frustrating when people are asking me. But then I would probably just show him and be like, look, everyone's asking. <laughs> I'm so bad at the liner. Also, does my skin look so glowy? Where in Europe would you love to live? Italy. Italy, immediately Italy. I don't know where, I need to go back. The last time I was in Italy, I had braces. That's what I always tell people. Um, so, you know, I need to go back, but Italian food is my favorite thing in the world. I love Italian people. I love the culture. I love the views. I love everything about it. So I feel like that's where I'd want to live. How much longer do you think you'll stay in New York City? I really don't know. And I know that's probably a really annoying question, but I think I, I would like to leave when I'm ready. And I feel like I'll know when I'm ready. This isn't my last apartment in New York City. I, I will probably leave this apartment next year. Um, and maybe Ryan and I will move in together next year. Maybe not. We're not really sure. Just kind of feeling it out. Will you prioritize going on more trips with Ryan in the future versus more friend trips? That's an interesting question. Um, I don't travel with my friends instead of Ryan. My friends just love to do girls trips and so do I. Um, and a lot of our, if some of us that have partners, they can't travel as much because of work. They don't want to. They would rather use their money elsewhere. And Ryan likes to travel, thank God, because I love to travel and I think it would be really hard for me to have a partner that doesn't like to travel, but he works in finance, you guys. Like he is a busy, busy guy. And he's, that's another thing I do value about our, our, our friendship. Our relationship is that he is so okay with me traveling, which I really appreciate. Cause I, I know of other friends that have boyfriends that are very like, oh, you're leaving again or whatever. Like he is so supportive. And so there's times where I'm like, oh, I don't want to leave because you're being so nice about it. You know what I mean? So he's doing it right. Um, I would love to go on more trips with him. I would love for him to come on every trip, you know, but he can't. So, um, but yes, I did love our trip to Mexico together. It was very special. So I do hope that we can do more. He's coming. I think I said in my, one of my last videos, but he is coming to Thanksgiving this year, which will be really fun. I've never had a partner at a big holiday like that. Like he's been to my house for 4th of July and Memorial Day, stuff like that. But never for thanksgiving i went with his family last year on thanksgiving and yeah so crazy my makeup looks so good i'm gonna do like a couple more questions though because i am known to do my makeup super fast 
What is your go-to fall color right now? Red, baby. I am so happy that red is the color of the season. I mean, it's the color of the season for me, but I am, un from what I understand, it's the co color of the season. Like, I've got red nails, got the red sweater. I love the sweater. It's so, like, just oversized and fun. Um, and it's also perfect because my school colors, my alma mater, are red and black. So, obviously red. Fashion trend you never expected yourself to love, but now do. Oh, I definitely have some. For a while, I didn't like loafers, actually. Um, more so because I found them to be uncomfortable and I didn't know how to style them. I recently got these, which are so great because they're backless loafers, so you don't have to worry about getting blisters. And they're platform, which I like a platform. And I think they look so cute under trousers or jeans or like with the white high socks, I'm obsessed. But that definitely took me some time. If you had to move neighborhoods, where would you go? <laughs> I've talked about Kelly so much, but we went to dinner last night, so she's fresh on my mind. We were talking about that and I would so live in like Flatiron Nomad. I think it's so lovely. There's so many amazing restaurants. It's not as like West Village feel by any means, but I really like a lot of the places up there and it's still like you're kind of in the middle where you can get downtown pretty quickly. I live in Greenwich Village right now. I would love to live in true West Village, but with my specific apartment style taste, I like newer builds I found. Um, and there are some in West Village, but people usually don't leave them. They don't want to let go of their apartment and they're usually really expensive. Uh, and I'd also like to live in Tribeca and meatpacking. But meatpacking, no one really lives in. It's I, I don't know of many apartment buildings in meatpacking, especially ones that I could afford, so. Yeah. Oh, and Soho. I just mentioned so many neighborhoods. But like, if I lived in Soho, that would fill my Tribeca cup, you know? Like, Tribeca and Soho go hand in hand. Nomad, Flatiron, and then like, West Village meatpacking, I guess, could go hand in hand. <laughs> That's still three neighborhoods, but. <laughs> that was the end of the video. <laughs> I enjoyed chatting with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, thanks to Trilogy for sponsoring this video. I love this. I love how it makes my skin look. And thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know if you guys like this style video. I just love some OG videos. Not to say that I don't love still doing vlogs, but you know what I mean. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time for our next video. Bye-bye.